The spoken word is a powerful force in our spiritual and physical selves. It can change our lives, our fates, and our souls. The power of words requires introspection. Consider the importance of daily words. Every human word has the power to uplift, harm, and inspire, or extinguish hope. These words, like delicate seeds deposited in the lush soil of our hearts, can grow and take root, shaping our experiences. Let's not forget our words' great power. Speech creates. Our words resonate with our core. Our thoughts, emotions, and objectives infuse our lives through them. We are privileged to participate in creation through our words. This realization brings responsibility. We must use our words wisely. Are we speaking truth and sincerity into existence? Are we bringing our dreams and ambitions to life? Are we unknowingly spreading doubt, fear, and imitation? Our words have far-reaching effects. They shape our self-image and life story. Our stories shape our worldview. They can build fortresses of resilience, illuminating our mission, or cages of self-doubt, limiting our advancement. Our souls are shaped by the words we speak. Grace, forgiveness, and healing may transform us through love. We link with the divine harmony of the cosmos by purposefully choosing words that resonate with our deepest wishes and highest truths. This power is also explained in the Bible. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, says Proverbs 18.21. My statements should inspire faith and confidence. If I could, I would always support you. Remember that everyone, even those you can't see, has their own challenges. Keep this in mind when interacting with others. Scripture says the mouth controls life and death. Reflecting on our own lives, this resonates. Consider the lasting impressions words made on us. Because words can kill or heal, we must select them carefully. Additionally, the sacred words are ultimate. God's voice may bring light to the darkest situations and guide us. Words can change our fates, so let's be mindful of how our words affect ourselves and others. Everybody has witnessed the power of words. Reckless remarks may have cost some jobs or marriages. Let's not focus on the negative. Instead, let us recognize the power of our words to improve the world. Let your speech inspire positive transformation, improving connections and revitalizing your life. Words that uplift, forgive, love and heal. Words can bring harmony or discord. Hurtful comments have destroyed families and wounded individuals, causing profound insecurities and self-esteem issues. Words are powerful vessels, so we must choose them carefully. Our words are ours now. Even in small amounts, our words have repercussions. They can bless life. Some of us grew up in circumstances where a few words from parents, teachers, siblings, friends, or coaches shaped our reality. We bear the weight of those words that either enlivened or suffocated us. In marriage, parenthood, leadership, and friendship, encouraging people is one of the most powerful things we can do. Releasing these benefits creates a positive environment. You foster what you want. We must use our words intentionally to affect the world. With every word, we release the blessing and plant seeds of encouragement, creating a life-sustaining environment. Genesis begins as a black, formless vacuum. God speaks in this barrenness. His words echo across the void, illuminating the shadows. His words create the universe, demonstrating their creative power. Words provide life and light and shape the world in the narrative of creation. God shapes reality with words from the start. In Genesis 3, we learn that words may kill. In this key moment, Sin enters the world through the serpent's clever speech, which questions and twists God's truths, sowing doubt and leading humanity astray. It reminds us that words may hurt and extinguish light. The serpent's lies were powerful. Adam and Eve's actions were determined when they gave life to those false words. It reminds us that our thoughts affect our world, for better or worse. Sacred and ancient wisdom exposes the power of words. Language and its impact on our lives have been treasured across civilizations and spiritual traditions. In the Vedic writings, mantras demonstrate the power of words. Mantras, sacred sounds, syllables or phrases attract cosmic energies and aid spiritual awakening. 
and some with dedication. They channel divine blessings and manifest desires. In Native American culture, storytelling is sacred. Elders and storytellers wove complicated tales with careful word choice. Their stories had more meaning. Stories taught morality, cultural legacy, and wisdom. These tales inspired bravery, unity, and life teachings. Kabbalah views the uttered word as a divine creative force. Divine words created the universe. Humans may create reality with their words, like the Creator. Speech elevates consciousness, blesses the planet, and restores harmony in the collective soul, according to Kabbalah. These old traditions remind us that words are sacred and important. They connect us to the divine fabric of reality, not just expressions. Every syllable can alter, touch, and connect. Our words can harmonize our inner and outer worlds, generating a heavenly resonance through prayer, mantra, affirmation, or passionate dialogue. Through life's complications, kindly address ourselves and others. Self-love begins with our inner dialogue. Self-talk builds resilience and self-belief, helping us overcome barriers and accept our complete selves. Therefore, word power is a sacred gift. It's our holy duty to use this gift wisely, lovingly, and intentionally. May we use our words to create a world of compassion, harmony, and infinite possibilities. Our humanity binds us in the immense tapestry of existence. Let us participate in this transformative journey as we explore the power of words. I hope this video inspires introspection. Let your words power spark a sacred fire within.